Well, I'd like to uh, take a moment and introduce Steve Chukri. Steve is the president and CEO of the Arizona Restaurant Association, and for the past 12 years, he's been, uh, gosh, he's been totally involved with the Restaurant Association, and we are very pleased that he is here to be part of the new Pro Start. So, ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce Steve Chukri. Dr. Chester's point. If we can't do something at its very, very best, then I'd rather not do it at all. And so we took the program and we put it to the side for a few years until we got it right. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, Tracy Carmel got it right. So let's put it right. Fifteen days ago, she was not too far from here in a wedding dress and got married. She planned a wedding. She planned this, what I would argue, our best pro star competition in the history of the Arizona Restaurant Association. So, Tracy, uh, I thank you. Thank you. And to Dr. Chester again, I'll stop referring to you, but uh, I, I think what you were saying isn't only philosophical. And let me tell you why. This year, in 2014, the year that just concluded, Arizona was number one nationally in year-over-year -year sales growth for the first time again ever. <laughs> guess how much food was sold in Arizona in 2014? Just take a guess. I want lots. That's a very good. <laughs> Six thousand tons. Six thousand tons. I'm going to come back to you in a second because you said something earlier that was also very, very on the mark. Eleven billion dollars. Do you, the governor yesterday released his budget. The state budget for Arizona is $9 billion. So we employ 300,000 people in the state of Arizona. And this young man said, people have to eat. They do. People have to eat. Now here's why I think this is important incredibly important to the career of our industry, an industry I knew nothing about 12 years ago that I've absolutely fallen in love with, and that is, for the next 10 years, Arizona will lead job creation in the food service industry. That means we will be number one nationally for the next 10 years in creating job, in, jobs in restaurants. So all of you are going to have jobs, I can guarantee you. You've got to continue to follow the passion in what you did today, and I guarantee you you will be successful. If not, I'll find you a job person. So, those are just a few comments. I, I think more importantly, I want to thank the judges. I want to thank Jason Carmel because he was instrumental in all of this. And I'm excited to see what next year brings. So, let me, uh, if you could hold your applause to the end, I want to, I want to again thank uh, the judges. I thought that uh, Chukri, which is Lebanese, was a hard word pronounced, but I think I'm going to be challenged by some of these last names <laughs> here, this, here this afternoon. So forgive me if I get something wrong. Of course, Dr. Jerry Chesser, Mark Molinaro, Jason Carmel, Chris Parker, uh, Ben Grover, Rob uh, Witte, Michael Santos, Kristen Lulo, Mike Favela, Andrew Abio, uh, Andy Kuntz, uh, Melissa Desberg, I apologize already. Uh, John Dodson, uh, Sam, uh, even Evan Delusta. How do you, is Sam here? Sam, tell me, help me out. Evangelista. Evangelista, see, it rolls right off the tongue. Uh, Jamie Thousand, Paul uh, Weiner, Rob White, uh, Walter Leibel, Brian Tatsukawa, uh, James Graves, Jason Zachro, uh, Sharan, is it Dampier? Okay. Uh, Frank Hernandez, Stephen Hennig, and Lowell Petrie. Thank you all. Uh, and we wouldn't be able to do this without them, so just allow me to, to read our sponsors who, who helped make this uh, such a success. Southwest Gas, Ecolab, Mercer Culinary, uh, Satchmos, uh, of course, NAU. Thank you, Chef, for all your hospitality uh, today. Uh, and, uh, of course, the staff of the Restaurant Association, we, we thank all of you. Also, uh, we want to thank the colleges uh, who offered scholarships, the Culinary Institute of America, Johnson & Wales University, the Art Institutes, the International Culinary Center, uh, New England Culinary Institute, uh, Louisiana Culinary Institute, and the Port on Blue. So thanks to all of them. <laughs> Hopefully with more schools. Uh,
competing, and I also want to thank all of the teachers and the mentors who have, Kay, I think I saw Kay, uh, and all of you who have given so much for so many years. I want you to know that you could call the Arizona Restaurant Association home, and we're going to continue to get this great young talent into our restaurants and, and into our industry. So thank you very much. For <laughs>